Hey guys, Marmalade here with Marmalade Outdoors and thank you for joining me for another video on living in your car. And this one is 10 ways to beat the heat when you're living in your car. And uh, I've been asked to do a video on this by multiple, multiple people. Uh, it is June 2023, so I thought what better time than now. All right, number one is go up in elevation, go to the mountains, go somewhere higher up. I know this from backpacking, uh, it's roughly about three to five degrees cooler generally for every thousand feet of elevation you go. So if you're in an area and there's some mountains, even if it's for the day, maybe it's not by where you're camping uh, for the night, but you can go up to the mountains and get away. Get uh, usually a, uh, there's a nice breeze right now. Matter of fact, we get a nice breeze and get maybe 10 to 20 degrees cooler. All right, number two is kind of obvious, but a fan. I've had this one for a couple of years now. It was given to me. Uh, it's got three speeds. And what I like about it, it's got a small battery built into it, so it's rechargeable. So you can plug it in and it just works on live power if you have a battery uh, source somewhere. Or um, if you want to charge it up and get it ready for the evening. And, and for me, a lot of times when you have your Reflectix up in your car, let's say, and you have your windows blocked out and it's warm outside, especially at night, and you might have your windows cracked, but there's not much airflow. It's really, really important to have one of these. So um, I really, really have enjoyed this. And I enjoy it so much, I just bought a second one. A couple days ago, I don't know if you can see that or not. This was about 12 bucks at Walmart. It's also the exact same. It has three speeds. It's rechargeable, or it works when it's just plugged in directly. And uh, so now I have a, a couple different directions to get the breeze going. But even a small breeze is better than nothing at night, as you probably know. But yeah, that's number two. Okay, number three is mesh window screens, which go on the two side doors. You can get some from the front, I guess, but I have the two side doors. Uh, I'm going to put one on there and show you what it looks like. But uh, let's do that first, and then I'll explain how they work. All right, there you go. It's not perfect. You can tuck these in if you want. But uh, so you can see this goes through here. Um, it does a couple things. Of course, it's, it helps you with bugs and things like that. But if you can get some of the windows cracked without getting the bugs in, it just helps you without the bugs. It also gives you some privacy. It's hard to see in there. Uh, you want to, of course, maybe park in the shade somewhere. And then when you get the two, uh, two of these done, it really helps with the airflow, especially if you want to take a nap. Let's say it's warm out. Just getting a breeze in there uh, stronger than the little fans that I showed you makes a big difference sometimes. All right, number four, guys, is water. And we all know it's common sense to drink a lot of water, but especially in the summertime when it's very hot and we're, uh, it's evaporating off our bodies and we're sweating it out, uh, it's important to try to drink at least one gallon a day, if not closer to two gallons. And guys, I know it's hard. I'm always trying to do this. It's very difficult, but when it's hot, really, really try to do it if you can. Um, and especially try to drink very cold water. That'll bring some of your body temperature down. Uh, it's obviously refreshing too, but um, I'll show you kind of uh, my everyday basis, what I carry amount of waters. It doesn't mean it's all cold. I'll put some in the uh, and bottle at a time in, the, in my ice cooler, but I carry from Amazon. And by the way, at the end, if you go down to my description box, I have a lot of the stuff I'm showing you, like the uh, mesh window cover and things like that are in my Amazon uh, influencer store that I have now. There's a link to it, so check it out if there's anything in, you're interested in. But I always carry this 4.9 gallons, so just under five gallon water jug I got on Amazon. It's really great, and it's really cheap to fill up. It's 50 cents a gallon at the grocery store. You just put it under there, and $2.50, you got five gallons. Um, I always carry the single water. This is what I'll put in my cooler. I also have it behind in the back when I'm sleeping at night, so it's something I can sip on at night to rehydrate at night too especially if I did a long hike or something. And then I carry another gallon just for extra to be safe. It's also when I make coffee out of my car in the morning, I have some water in the back where I make it uh, with my jet boil uh, stove. So yeah, I've got over six gallons of water here. And obviously if you're gonna go on a longer trip, you can grab more and maybe there's water out there where, uh, where you're camping. All right, number five is to camp or stay the day by large bodies of water. Of course, like oceans, lakes, rivers, things like that. Uh, they tend to bring the overall temperature down a lot and also you might get a nice cool breeze. All right, number six is travel with the weather. So I think uh, most people that have ever done any kind of really traveling in general, but especially living in your car, SUV, bus, van, van life, all that, uh, travel with the weather. There's a thing that the term that some people use called chasing 70, which just means if you could possibly try to chase 70 degrees all the time. So. In the summertime, you know, um, sometimes going more north gets cooler, things like that. And west, uh, you know, in the wintertime, you may want to go south where it's a little bit warmer and west also. So, you know, just just knowing the areas that not only you want to visit, but knowing uh, they're, they're kind of 
average temperature ratings or weather, things like that. But especially in the summer, you want to travel up high or go out west or go, you know, sometimes up, up north, places like that where it's a little cooler and just get away from it. All right, number seven is get yourself four to eight uh, washcloths, just cheap ones or bandanas. And what you do is you can get them wet. I happen to have this uh, cloth that I have in the car that I use for cleaning things. But get them wet. Ring them out, but get them nice and wet. And then you want to get some freezer quartz uh, Ziploc bags. I like them because they don't leak. So once you do that, uh, zip it up, of course. Squeeze out the air. It doesn't take up a lot of space. If you can get like four, six, or eight of these, then you put them in your cooler or your freezer or refrigerator that's in your van or car, whatever you have. I have an ice chest. Put them in there. Then what you do is just put simply, when it's really, really hot, you pull one out, you know, and you can use it for your neck. Put it on your head. You can just kind of cool your body off, whatever. And if you have a decent amount of them, you know, they, they eventually dry out and get, if it's real warm out and uh, they're not cool anymore, you can get it wet again, put it in there, and just keep rotating them, and you'll have a never-ending um, rotation of cold bandanas or rags to use to keep cool. All right, number eight is Reflectix. Reflectix is this shiny stuff right here. Uh, what I've done, it's, it's kind of like a real thick uh, thermal bubble wrap kind of thing. Uh, it's got kind of a firmness to it. I put black duct tape on the outside so you cannot see it from through the window. Uh, I'm going to put it in the window to show you the difference. You can see right now, you can see through my window pretty good. It not only gives you privacy at night, but I've, I've uh, put it up in the day so I could uh, just not have the sun come in and get my car hot, but also I needed to take a nap. I was traveling and needed a little bit of rest. So it gives you privacy, but also keeps the heat out. And if you use those fans I'm talking about, you can get a breeze going and maybe crack some of the windows maybe on the shade side of the car. But uh, let me put one up and show you the difference. And just like that, you can't see through. You can see the difference. Well, actually, this window's open, so that's not fair. But you can see the difference now. And uh, I would say if your car has these around the whole car, and I'll put my window shade in there, and I even have some for the sides, um, it does keep the heat out. But if your car is in the sun all day, eventually the temperature is going to get hot. And that's where maybe you want to phase into maybe figure out what side of the car is the breeze side and put those mesh screens in and get the breeze coming in and get some circulation. But uh, they definitely help a lot, and uh, not only for the heat, but for privacy. All right, number nine is if you are on a road trip and you are traveling each day, drive at the hottest part of the day. I know that just kind of makes sense, but heck, you um, don't have to be out there sweltering in the heat. And hopefully, if you have a semi-new car, you have the luxury of air conditioning. And before you know it, you're there at camp and maybe it's early evening and you can get out there where there is a breeze and it's starting to cool off. All right, guys, number 10 is, well, if you get to where the heat is just unbearable and you just can't handle it and there's no cure and some of the things, suggestions I gave you didn't work, go into town and maybe uh, get where there is cooler temperatures. But how about air conditioning, like maybe a restaurant or a coffee shop? Or how about the movie theater? That's one of my favorite places to get out of the heat and you get a little entertainment. At least in the middle of the day when it's the hottest, sometimes you just uh, you get no break from the heat, and that's a way to cure it. All right, guys, there was 10 ways to beat the heat when you live in your car or SUV. I hope you enjoyed that. When I did my research, I had a lot more. So you guys, I already know there's a lot more. Uh, I had about 20 on my list. Maybe I'll do another one. But those are 10 that I think are what I would do, what I have done, and what I am doing. So I hope those help. If you want to share the ways you do it down below, uh, I already know a lot more, but it might help the other people viewing this in case they happen to be in this situation. And like I said at the beginning, it's June 2023, and I'm in Southern California where it's actually still kind of overcast. We have a marine layer, but it's going to get hot everywhere pretty soon. So I thought this would be helpful. Uh, let me know if there's any other uh, things you want to know about or videos I can make for you when it comes to living in your car and SUV. And thanks so much. And if possible, if you did enjoy this uh, content, please consider subscribing and especially liking the video. It's free, you guys, and it really helps the growth of my channel. And um, if you want to be notified every time uh, I have a new video, hit the notification bell in the upper right on my uh, channel. And I think that's it, guys. Thank you for uh, listening, and I uh, hope that helps you. And we'll see you next time down the road.